Okay, I did a. I did a. A run through of this, and that this shows the setup, um, the screen, and everything. Oh, I did a run through, and, and the entire video is just this, and it won't do. <laughs> so this is the setup with the mic. Uh, to the left of the display, a mixer on top. Um, you have to have a mixer for a uh, condenser mic. And then, um, I mean, you could use headphones, but you don't need it for this. Uh, so I just turned the speaker down so it doesn't interfere. All right, so now we're going to go to um, to the source. And this... This uh, shows a feedback of uh, this program, and then underneath it is our working screens and everything. So we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna do something exciting, which is to um, well let's 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 get right into it. Um, we've got our two screens, uh, this one and this one. Oh, and I've already got a bunch of material here where I uh, did the. Uh, did the voice typing um, it says uh, we are having trouble hearing you da, 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 da. Uh, it often says that um, so there is the uh, demonstration of the voice typing um, as I am uh, just talking in normal speed and everything and uh, that's always kind of interesting but now uh, let's let's do boy I had it all kind of done I mean maybe what I should do is include both videos because the you know the first time is always the best uh, even though it has a flaw um, which <laughs> it just described um, all right um, now if I manipulate another window then the then the mic automatically goes off um, I should say uh, how I got this. Uh, this is uh, well. Let's just let's just start over completely, uh, completely, completely different reading. Uh, so we're we're going to go back here, and we have the black zodiac, uh, which is uh, well. Let's go back even further. I'm looking for black zodiac. I'm looking for Black Zodiac and um, uh, picking out the Google Books entry. So there it is, the, the, the Google Books entry. And there's Black Zodiac. And there's, there's Black Zodiac with a beautiful cover with, um, with very carefree Japanese characters. I think that's what that is. All right, we're going to go down to the tag cloud. Here's the tag cloud, and I just did landscape. Uh, so this time, um, let's do Umbrian. We're going to Italy, and uh, this is much shorter than uh, the last one. Uh, the results that are found apparently and it says showing four results in this book for Umbrian order by relevance da, 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 da. all right and then it's often says no preview available for this page by this book and uh, looks like only one of the results uh, shown is actually with the type so this isn't a very good example, but it will do uh, for the purposes of this video. All right, so I'm going to start the reading next. Um, well, I can start it now. Uh, just hit carriage return, and it knows. You can also say uh, new paragraph. Wow. 
new paragraph Umbrian dreams 39 Charles Wright this page intentionally left blank this page intentionally left blank Umbrian dreams nothing is flat lit and tabula rost in Char in Charlottesville mm. All right, I'm going to scroll down and right. then get this last little bit. Dawn in the Umbrian hills in the cracks of the Persian blinds, slim ingots of daylight stack and drip. This bird has something to say, a watery kind of music, extended improvisations, liquid rifts and breaks, but not to me, pulled like a dead. New paragraph. All right, well, this is kind of disappointing uh, because it's so short. Um, I think we could try another uh, entry from the tag cloud. Uh, why don't we go back? We could try clearing the search. So we've reached a page that is unavailable. Oh, there's some material. Here's some material. Um, I did a clear search and then um, it reveals some material here that is just absolutely beautiful. So uh, we're going to be reading it. Um, new paragraph. Bright as auras around our bodies and some will utter the words speaking in fear and tongues, hating their garments splotched by the flesh. These are the lucky ones, the shelved ones, the twice erased. Dante and John Chrysostom might find this afternoon a sidereal road map, a pilgrim's way. You might too under the pre-jaundiced outline of the quarter moon, clouds sculling down sky like a narrative for whatever comes, what hasn't happened to happen yet, still lurking behind the stars. 31 August 1995, the afterlife of insects, space graffiti, white holes in the landscape. Such things, such avenues, lead to dust and handle our hurt with ease. All right, I'm scrolling down and now if I can find my place again. I see it. Oh dear. Have to be very careful when you scroll. All right. Sky blue, blue of infinity, blue waters above the earth. Why do the great stories? always exist in the past. The unexamined lives, no different from the examined life, unanswerable questions, small talk, unprovable theorems, long abandoned arguments, You've got to write it all down. Landscape or waterscape, light length on evergreen, 
dark sidebar of evening, you've got to write it down. Memory's handkerchief, death's dream and automobile. Okay, the blender's going, and uh, it says here, uh, we're having trouble hearing you. If you are experiencing issues, try moving to a quieter place or using the external microphone. Dismiss. We're going to read it anyway. God's sleep. You've still got to write it down. Moon half empty. Moon half full, night starless and eagleless, night blood black and prayer black, spider at work between the hedges, last bird call, toad in a damp place, tree frog in a dry. We go to our graves with secondary affections, second hand satisfaction half-souled, star charts demagnetized. We go in our best suits. The birds are flying. Clouds pass. Sure, we're cold and untouchable, but we harbor no ill will, no tooth tuned to resentment's fork. We're out of here, and sweet meat calligraphers of the disembodied God word words. What letters will we illuminate? Above us the atmosphere, the nothing that's nowhere, signs on and waits for our beck and call. Above us the great constellations sidle and wince, the letters undarkened and come forth, your X and my X. The letters undarkened and come forth, eluders of memory, nocturnal sleep of the greenhouse, spirit of slides and silences, invisible hand, witness and walk on, lords of the discontinuous, lords of the little gestures, succor my shift and save me. New paragraph. All right, now what I'm going to do is read a little bit of uh, what um, Google Voice has typed here. That's always uh, interesting. And uh, I, I usually take this uh, Google Voice stuff and blog it. Um, the, one, the, one of the interesting things about this is um, that you see little um, dotted line underlines under various words and if you manipulate the cursor in a certain way you can see uh, what uh, Google Voice thinks uh, it should be. Uh, sometimes it gives you interesting um, um, alternatives. If you do select one, uh, bear in mind that um, it seems to be undoable. Um, and of course, the uh, little gray underline goes goes away. Uh, let's just. D uh, I don't see one that's expendable enough. I kind of like all of these. Sometimes I, I change them when they're numbers. Uh, I don't like those numbers. Um, new paragraph. New paragraph. God's sleep, you've still got to write it down. Moon half empty, moon half full. Night starless, and eagle is night blood black, and prayer black. Spider at work between the hedges, last bird call. Toad in a damp place, tree frog in a dry. We go to our graves with secondary affections second-hand satisfaction, half-souled star charts demagnetized. We go when our best 
Shoot the birds or flying clouds, past sure we're cold and untouchable, but we harbor no ill will, no to tune resentments, for we're out of here, and sweetmeat calligraphers of the disembodied God word. Words, what letters will we illuminate above us, the atmosphere, the nothings, that's nowhere signs on and waits for our beck and call above us the great constellations title and wins the letters on dark and then come forth your x and my x the letters on dark and then come forth a looters of memory nocturnal sleep of the greenhouse spirit of slides and silences invisible hand witness walk on lords of the discontinuous lords of the little gestures succor my shift and save me all now is real a little bit of the google voice his type that's always interesting and i tell you say take this so google voice stuff and blogs about this underlies under various words and if you manipulate the cursor or in a certain way you can see what google voice think so it should also be time to give you interesting alternatives if you do select one bear in mind that it seems to be undoable and of course the little gray underline goes away i don't see what kind of like their numbers all right this is pretty much the end of the uh, reading and the video uh give you a flavor of this again um I mentioned that the point of this is that we're surrounded by AI and uh, let's uh, let's use it in creative ways uh, you don't necessarily have to in poetry uh, train a corpus which is what I really want to do it's like training a dragon uh, what you do is you take your corpus you set up your you know you get a github uh, from somewhere uh, get download you, you, you need a Linux machine I suppose you could possibly do it with Windows. Uh, you, <laughs> you need a graphics card with a spare, well, a spare graphics card, if your computer can actually run a couple of these darn things. Uh, your power supply can accommodate it without going dark. Um, you um, um, can make a, you can learn it with your graphics process. Oh, the joy. Um, so getting, getting an actual model, you know, of a corpus of text, like, let's say you, you maintain corpus of text, like quotations or snippets of text or, you know, search snippets or just whatever it is that you want in your corpus and that, you know, your goal is to get, get the AI to create a poem out of that, the Shakespeare say sort of thing. Um, oh, well, it kind of overwhelms me to describe it, and, and, and I'm, you know, I'm going to have to resort to writing at some point, but, um, it's kind of nice, uh, to see how these ideas form out of, uh, miasma, hot miasma of incoherence. All right. Thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, this video. All right, we're going to stop this recording.